Check this out. Uh huh. From the war zone, my good friend Tyler Rogaway and um, his minion Thomas Nudick <laughs> um, came together to write this fantastic story. I did not know about this program, and it's already operational. It's already being uh, what's going to go operational. And I'm going to show you video from this. This is really good. This is our. This is called the Rapid Dragon cargo plane launch stealth cruise missile is in action, and we have video of this working today coming up look at this thing so we're turning cargo planes into arsenal ships cruise missile bombers think of them that way uh, where they just eject these things not really eject with a parachute drag deploy these things out the back of a cargo plane and they hold four to six or even more missiles um, anyway let's let's read from the piece and then i'm gonna show you the video it's really cool uh, okay, so the U.S. Air Force Lockheed Martin has provided new looks and additional insights into the recent full demonstration of the Rapid Dragon air launch palletized munition concept. On this occasion, surrogate weapons were delivered from cargo holds of a Globemaster III airlift, a huge airplane, uh, and an EC-130, a psychological warfare platform uh, based on the Hercules transport. So the cool thing about this is that these planes don't need to be modified to do this. They can still do their mission, whether it's psychological warfare or whatever else they're doing, and also be a weapons platform. Yeah, we're turning our cargo planes into bombers, essentially, if the bomber is shooting a cruise missile instead of a bomb. Yeah, anyway, back to the piece. Uh, so 10 months ago, it, this existed only in concept uh, and is managed by the Air Force's Strategic Development Planning Experiment, or SDPE. Its implication could extend beyond the United States as well because these airplanes are operated by all sorts of uh, air forces, the, especially the C-130. Especially release, a newly released video and photo showed the results of the Rapid Dragon test that took place over White Sands Missile Range, New Mexico, in August of this year. So this is brand new information. The various demonstrations, according to Lockheed Martin, cover all aspects of the palletized strike mission, including up to release surrogate cruise missiles. So we're going to go ahead and watch this video. Um, this is a public video, so I shouldn't get copyrighted on this one. Um, hopefully, I'm going to cross my fingers here. And let's turn up some sound. All right, so we're going to watch the Lockheed Martin. Palletized munitions enable mobility aircraft to deploy cruise missiles. Look at this. Promising to provide a new Hell yes. means to increase capacity. That looks a lot like Taiwan. A modular deployment system offers a flexible payload configuration to meet mission requirements. With a six-pack configuration for C-130 deployment. Oh, yes. Yes, give me more. And a nine-pack for C-17s. I'm pulling out dollar bills. An onboard control module enables the missiles and battle management system to communicate. So missions and targets can be updated while the aircraft this makes is me airborne. so happy. Palletized munitions are compatible with standard airlift inventory systems. They provide a roll on roll off capability with no aircraft. Oh, these guys have the best job in the world. The Air Force Strategic Development Planning and Experimentation Office, Air Force Futures and Lockheed Martin are partnering with Air Mobility Command and Air Force Special Operations Command to conduct flight tests. First up, our in-flight jettison oh tests my to word. demonstrate safe deployment. From yes, dude. Look at that. Oh, my God. This is like 6, 18, 24. So many weapons could be deployed on this. This is amazing. I can't believe they got this working. And this is just animation right now. I'm about to show you a video. But let's let's let let's let the promotional animation go first. C-17. We're gonna see this in action. And a C-130. Followed by live fire demonstrations for both aircraft. The first by the end of 2021. Oh man, take that, China man. Palletized munitions are a potential force multiplier that enable combatant commanders to strike from more airfields and engage yes. more targets while offering mobility aircraft and crews a rapid transition back to primary missions. Yeah, seeing that they can continue on with whatever mission they have, they dragon, can do both. Bringing more mass to the fight. Mass to the fight, that's what I bring. I got all the mass. Bringing the mass to the fight, oh man. Now, uh, this video, I have to give credit to the War Zone, the War Zone's um, YouTube page. You guys should subscribe to it. We're gonna watch video of this actually uh, being tested last month in White Sands, New, New Mexico, at the testing range. Let's go. Subscribe to the War Zone YouTube page. All right, test prep. There's no audio for this, so you're just gonna have to listen to me yammer on about it, but this is not animation, this is video. And that, that sailor's out of uniform. 
Yeah, so I wish we had like, well, we can't have music on YouTube, so there's no music, no nothing. So there it is on the little pallet truck. It's a badass truck. Notice how the rear wheels turn. Look at that. Oh man, I just missed it. But the the rear of the wheels, all, all the wheels would turn. Whenever we're loading uh, missiles, uh, it has a truck similar to that. That that the missiles all uh, get carried on. Yeah, so that's just one. Looks like a one by four. Or a, a, a two by two for a total of four, I mean. So there it is on the pallet. These seats are super uncomfortable, by the way. Those are called jump seats. They kind of fold down from the sides. God, you can tell this is the Air Force. Look how clean everything is. <laughs> Everything's new and shiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there it is. That That's a, is that a C-130? No, that's, that's the Globemaster, isn't it? That's the big girl. I'm not that familiar with the airplanes as I am the, the submarines and the ships. Look at that. Look at this. I would not, I'm so afraid of heights. There's no way I'd ever join the Air Force. Screw this. This makes me nervous just watching this video. My blood pressure is up. Oh, there it goes. Yes. Oh, hey, we're in Call of Duty now. All right. Yeah. Oh, this is awesome. Look at that. Uh oh, hey, how much did that cost? We. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we, we, I thought we were going to ride on board that one. I guess not. Oh, this is so cool. Man, you just know we're just shedding dollar bills doing that. So that was an EC-130 SJ flight test. Maybe that's what this one's going to be. This is not animation. This is video. Stop. This is a video. Someone's saying this is all animation. No, 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 no. Does it, does it look like animation? It probably looks like animation on the stream. Go to the Warzone's YouTube page and you could watch this yourself. This is video. Like, look at this guy with his shirt. It's not even tucked in. What is this? What kind of uniform standards are this? Look at that. He's wearing jeans. And he's wearing sneakers. He's not even wearing safety boots. Come on, man. Baggy ass jeans. Get out of here. Did you notice the Chad with the mustache? Yeah. So I really hope this is coming over clear for you. Look at this. That almost looks like McDill Air Force Base, but it's not. It's, uh, I guess it's in, it's in New Mexico. The, the missiles need to go we when deployed yes that'd be great yes yeah, so that's the, that's the c-130 there with the props they can uh but oh, whoa oh that's a cool view yeah so that's the parachute pops it we got call of duty uh camera again this one's not as good as the last one was this must be an older model There it goes. I wonder how much it costs every time we drop one of these. <laughs> so there's the umbilical cable. You saw that little cable dangle in there? That's what that was. Beautiful. Yeah, there's no hills in Florida. Well, in the center part of the state, there's small hills, but they, they barely qualify as hills. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's the end of it. Really cool stuff, man. Like, let me let me get to this part. Yeah, everything is brand new, right? That's how you know it's the Air Force, right? They get all the new toys, bells and whistles. I really want to see this. Yeah, this was a really good look at this airplane under this camera. I imagine that's like an infrared because you can see the heat coming out of the engines and stuff. And this is the Globemaster. That's the big girl. Probably could have put a couple pallets on her. And then the 130 as well. I want to get to, uh, there he is. Ah, close this. This dude here, you can't really see it from this angle, but he's got a hell of a mustache. I'm really impressed with that. There it is. Look at that. Huh? Yep. It's a C-17. What is it? They said it was a 130. 
Let's go. Let's go back and find it. Right there, it says it's an EC one thirty SJ. That's that's what it says. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know airplanes from nothing. I just read what's on the screen. Anyway, this is a really cool, capable, um, useful tool for our transport, you know, crews. Really awesome idea. I mean, we've been doing something similar to this with like the Moab bomb. We would, you know, chuck that out of a cargo plane, but these are cruise missiles now. So brand new, brand new capability that they've already demonstrated works on the missile range. What do you guys think of this? You guys are still arguing over whether or not it was a 130 or not. Okay. Oh, you're saying the other one was the 130. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Like I said, I don't know planes from Adam. So don't, don't hold that against me. Yep. All right. So that's it for the Naval News. Thanks for watching, everybody. We are going to stop the stream. Now we're going to raid another channel.